Do you want to use a powerful local AI interface without relying on cloud or complicated setup? In this video, I'll show you how to run OpenWeb UI with Olama on Windows using a super simple Python based method, no Docker required. You are able to chat with your AI models locally, manage conversation, and even send images and files all through a clean modern interface that runs right on your PC. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to head over to the official Olama website. Once you are there, you can click on download, and once you click on download, you move on to the next page where you can choose your OS, Mac OS, Linux, or Windows. In this case, I have a Windows computer, I will choose download for Windows. The installer is lightweight and should only take a few seconds to download, depending on your internet connection. For me, it took about 1 to 2 minutes to download. So after the download is finished, you can run the installer and follow the prompts. The installation is super simple, you don't have to configure anything manually. Once the installation is complete, you'll notice a new app called Olama in your start menu. When you click on it, nothing really pops up, and that's normal. Olama runs quietly in the background. If you look at your system tray, you'll see Olama icon there. You can right click on it to access settings or view logs if you ever need to troubleshoot something. From here on, you'll interact with Olama through terminal or command prompt. It's where you run your AI models. To make sure Olama is installed correctly, open your command prompt or Windows terminal and just type the following command, Olama. If everything was installed properly, you see a list of available commands like run, pull, and list. This means Olama is running on your system and it's ready to go. Moving on, let's look at what models are available to run. You can browse the official list by going to the Olama website and clicking on the models tab. But if you want a more detailed view like I do, you can check out their GitHub page. On the GitHub page, you'll find a full list of available models along with their sizes and requirements. One important thing to note is hardware requirements. According to the GitHub page, you should have at least 8GB of RAM to run 7B models, 16GB for 13B models, and 32GB if you want to try a 33B model. Since we want to keep this video quick and easy to follow, I'm going with a smaller model, Llama 3.2 1B, which is only about 1.3GB in size. To run it, we'll open command prompt again and use the following command, Olama run Llama 3.2 1B. The first time you run this, Olama will automatically download the model so you need to be connected to the internet. Once it's downloaded, you don't have to download it again. Future runs will load directly from your local storage. After the model loads, you see a prompt where you can start chatting with it all completely offline. Now that the model is loaded, let's test out to make sure it's working properly. I'll go ahead and type in a simple question, and here you can see it responds right away with the answer. That means the model is working perfectly fine and it's running entirely on my PC. No internet, no API keys, nothing else needed. After installing Olama, I wanted to connect it to a proper interface and naturally I tried different methods to run OpenWeb UI. I tried Docker which is what most people recommend but honestly it didn't work for me. Maybe it works fine for others but in my case it kept failing during the setup. So instead of wasting more time I went with the Python method and it worked perfectly fine. Let me walk you through what I did. The first thing I did was I downloaded Python 3.11. This step is very important because OpenWeb UI only runs smoothly on Python 3.11 based on my experience. I tried other versions of Python and it didn't work out for me. So other versions may throw errors for you during the setup based on my experience. Remember I'm getting this error at the time of this video. So if you're watching this video later, make sure to do your own research. Maybe the problem is solved in other versions of Python or maybe on your setup it may work. In the installation or even after the installation, make sure to check all of the optional features and also add Python to your path so it will work in the command prompt. Now all you have to do to install OpenWeb UI is to open command prompt and type in this command that you can see right here, pip install OpenWeb UI, the way that I type it right here, and once you do that, it will automatically start downloading and installing OpenWeb UI for you. Because I used Python 3.11, the installation was fairly quick and it only took 15 minutes. For you, depending on your internet connection, it may take more or even it may take less. So that's basically it for the installation and from now on, every time you want to use OpenWeb UI, click on Olama in the app so it will start running in the background and after that open a command prompt and inside the command prompt type in this command that I'm typing, which is OpenWeb UI serve. 
So every time you wanna restart your computer and you wanna use Open Web UI and Olama, you have to do these two steps. And that's how easy you can run and install Olama and Open Web UI on your computer. So basically, after doing this, in order to access Olama models in Open Web UI, all you have to do is to open a browser and go to localhost port 8080. The first time you go there, you have to enter email and a password in order to create an account in order to use Open Web UI. Based on what I think, the email and password is to protect your chat history from others accessing your computer. So every time you can log in into your local AI and access your chat so nobody else can access your chat once going to the local host port 8080. So as you can see, I can choose the models right here. I choose the Llama 3.2 Vision latest. And I will ask a question and let's see how it will answer. Depending on the model you choose and the size of the model, it will decide to use your CPU power or your GPU power. In this case, I have a RTX 3080 Ti, but since uh, this model is way bigger than my RTX 3080, it's now using my CPU power and it's pretty fast and I really like it. It's okay that it's not using my GPU as long as it's fast and it can answer any question. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit more challenge to write a code for a blog and let's go ahead and see how it will work. Okay, what I'm doing right here is to challenge the model a little bit by asking different questions about the first question I asked and then I asked the model to write a blog about the answer it gave me. And then I asked the model to write an HTML code about the answer it gave me in type of a blog. And as you can see, it's writing the code, it's writing the CSS code, and it's even showing me a live preview, which many of the other online AIs can't do this. And as you can see, I can type in different things, and it will edit the blog that it's showing me in preview, and I can do all of this live without having to open any other pages. And this is something that I really like about OpenWebUI and Olama and the models that I downloaded. And that's how we can run powerful AI models locally using Olama and OpenWebUI. No Docker needed, just Python and few simple steps. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Got any questions, drop them in the comments, I try to reply to everyone. And also this video is for educational purpose only and everything that I showed are based on my experience. Always refer to the official documentation for updates and proper usage. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day. See you in the next video.